that is a very worrisome client for me to get. Uh, I'm sorry, Q4 of 18. I had a patient come from New Orleans to Austin for an explant because she had family here, wanted to stay with her family and have her surgery. Her background was she was an ICU nurse. And you and I both know what kind of exposure risk that puts you in uh, when you've been in nursing you, for a long period you, of time. You basically, you basically see everything and get so exposed to everything. That is a very worrisome client for me to get because mm. they've been exposed to all sorts of things. And um, she had a lot of fatigue, a lot. And so I presume she was infected based on that previous experience, plus her occupation and what she was describing and mm -hmm. no laboratory abnormalities, no no change in her white blood cell count for the audience because we always look for that. Right. So these people don't look infected, they don't act infected. They're the they're in the prodromal phase of infection. So they're before infection. So I took this patient to the OR, did her explant, and she had just a slime layer on her implant. And so for the audience, the, you'll hear things called gel bleed, which is implant material that's silicone leaking out. Or the destruction of, we'll say the shell is, is just disintegrating. But this is actually bacterial biofilm.